Hubstar Shore A Week project um, came about as I work um, within the education team at Dogs Trust. Um, our aim is to educate young people about the responsibilities of having a dog, um, about staying safe around dogs, um, and this is just a really exciting way to do that over the summer. is to try and get the message across on how you should treat dogs and how you should look after dogs and the best way to do all these things and also that the, when you do have a dog you're not left entirely on your own you do have a support system in places like Dogs Trust uh, where you can go if you have any problems if you have any worries. Um, so the children come on the Monday and we work hard all week to produce a, a musical on the Friday night and the show is written using stories of existing dogs at Dogs Trust, dogs that have been rehomed, why they came to us, how they went home, their stories. Um, and it's to raise, raise awareness of different dog related issues, but like I said, also responsibility. And because these children are taking part in this and they're playing the dogs and they're you know, part of all the stories, those messages are hopefully going to stay with them. Um, for later life, so our next generation of dog owners are going to be more responsible, etc. Well, I arrived here from a puppy farm when I was just tiny and was quickly rehomed by a family who we really thought was perfect for me at the time. But sadly, they brought me back within a few weeks because I was chewing things and wasn't toilet trained. Um, but you're a puppy, and we both know puppies do two things poo and chew. <laughs> it's up to the owners to get give you the training you need. How are you supposed to figure all that out on your own? The importance is to try and get them aware of how shows work and how rehearsals work in the show, but also to make sure that they're having a great time while they're doing it. So it is very intensive, but we try and keep it as fun as we can all the way through it. And we also try while we're rehearsing to make sure the kids know what we're talking about and why we're talking about it and the importance of what we're doing when we're doing it. treated badly. They get dogs that have been stolen for street fight, um, dog fights um, and as it said there's over 17,000 was it? Dogs that haven't got a home so I want to try and help dogs um, get some homes. The message is that like basically Dogs have feelings that humans do and just you, when you own a dog it's not just for like for cuddles and stuff, it's like a part of the family. I think it's so important to tell people like don't just leave your dog alone in the house or treat them badly because they have the same feelings as a human. Well I think that um, get the message across and to just say like don't be nasty to your dog because you should love them because they're part of your family. They sort of want to get across that dogs aren't just meant to be a cuddly toy that you just leave alone all day. They're meant to be played with and cuddled and fed and walked with and they're not just meant to be left alone. So don't ever think we need more. Cause we've got the dog to live for 
And the mix of children is, is amazing. We've got children from all sorts of different backgrounds and we also have staged the um, production in a venue specially built in a regeneration area. Um, so we're kind of hitting some of our target areas where we perhaps have the most stray dogs and, and negative dog issues, etc. So yeah, just a, a really valuable project. And of course the kids really enjoy it. They have fun. It's, it really improves their confidence, social skills. sure does sound like a lovely place to live. And well, yes, I'd love to come live with you, but I'm sad about leaving my best friend Alfie. I think the benefits of um, taking part in this would probably be, um, because in group songs we're all doing the same thing, the same choreography and stuff, so that gives us a big confidence boost in a new way. Yeah. What I like about the project is our I like to be like with everyone and like meet friends. I think I've got more confidence than the years that I've done acting. Why I went here? Because last year I done it and it was really, 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 really fun. So I done it this year. Um, well, at the start I was kind of like shaky. So I feel like the most important thing I've got is um, just build up your confidence and be really proud. I feel much more confident what I started when I went for my audition because I was really scared. But now, because it's Friday and it's the night of the show, I feel quite confident. And also it's a really good experience, especially. It'd be different if we were just in a hall, but because we're in a big theatre and we've got um, lots of people come to see me, I'm sort of more into it, sort of more wanting to make a good job of it and stuff like that. But it's also good seeing the kids know exactly what it is to have their parents come and watch them and be really proud of something they've created. And it's been really, really rewarding watching all the kids um, work together as a team to create something that's going to be really wonderful and really enjoyable for the audience.